Good evening once again ladies and gents and we are back doing a bit more of Oblivion on uh, Elder Scrolls which one is it? Six I think? No. Four. Of course I saw the VI but of course it's got an eye after and before the V but yeah it's four isn't it of course. Um, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion on the Xbox 360 it was being played on an Xbox One and in the last part we just kind of shambled about and saw what we could find and then sold some crap and now we are wandering about. I still wonder where my skeleton went. I mean, he's obviously disappeared now, but we got dramatic music implying he had been kicking off against somebody. So I like this, even geographically speaking, it would make sense to put a bridge there. I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, hello, another one of these. We found one of these a minute ago. No, I don't know. I don't know what it does. I mean, I presume it gives us a bound weapon or bound armor. But this is steep, isn't it? Are we going to do the old Oblivion style kind of mountain goating where you can kind of usually kind of work your way along like that and then usually you can find your way up to the top of any hill if you just go walk sideways along it long enough. Anyway, we're just going to see if we can find something new. Hello, there's a there's a, a weird icon. Right, go on your bony swine. Flip it, heck. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ambush! Bullying! Go on! Missed! Nice! Right in the face. Have that, you furry bastard. Right. Well done. Clint McWang skeleton. Now that would be quite scary. The fact it says my skeleton implies that he stepped out of my own body and he's now running about with an axe. But it, I don't think it means that. I think that symbol might mean alien ruins, but I don't know. Alien ruins. Near Area 51. No. Alien ruins, I think. I think. He's going to disappear in a minute, isn't he? Yep, he has disappeared. That's fine. Didn't need him anyway. That's fine, because he doesn't he doesn't take very long to summon. Or... Take, he doesn't take a lot of mana. What's going on? I hear dramatic music. What's happening? Oh, you did kill it. Okay. I love that creaky noise they make. Just that. That's kind of the noise my knees make these days when I stand up, to be fair. Where's that alien ruin I just saw a bit ago? Here it is. Here it is. In fact, you can see a big white archway. Should have really given it away, shouldn't it? You found Pukanda. Wow. Popular with the local deer, apparently. Yeah, I love all these. It's kind of the alien, which were... I think they were supposed to be like the, the high elves, only like a precursor to the high elves. Should I go in there or not? Let's go in here. See, once I've, once I've kind of got a decent set of spells under my belt, I shall... Look at this. I love it. I shall abandon the bow and sword and be a purely purely be a magic wielder. Listen to this. I know I keep going on about it, but the music in this game is just amazing. Hang on. Uh, I want to, in that case, light a torch. Because I can always... I mean, just the architecture, the little kind of metal grills and stuff like that, and the lights are sort of different from the uh, the rest of the stuff in the game, so it actually makes it feel... something see me. Makes you feel like you are actually in some kind of weird... Um, nice. Makes you feel like you are in some kind of weird other racial area. Well, something's seen me, but I don't understand why. That's surely not talking about the skeleton having seen me. I don't know. See, I mean, the, the Draugr ruins were kind of cool. Did you just push me up the stairs? No. What's happening? Ah, oh, you should rest. I've leveled up, essentially. Yeah, it's a very creaky skeleton. Nice, I've leveled up. The problem is, you have to be a bit careful because there are ghosts in it. I don't think I've got anything that can hurt ghosts. Our first alien cask that's what's in here. Mort flesh. It's worth a few quid. Also, there do tend to be some fairly horrific traps in here. Do you know what? I think it is actually the skeleton. He's looking at me. Yeah, look, it's just disappeared. Well, that's... Oh, I mean... It's annoying, but kind of realistic, I guess. In the sense that the skeleton would count. If we can find some... 
what were they called? Wilk stones or something? Wilk stones? Wilk? Um, they're quite good because I think you could use them to charge any magical items that you might happen to have. Is that a gate? This gate is open remotely. But we're not telling you where. God damn it. Hello. <laughs> Put your head on straight, mate. You look alright, state. I wonder where that is then. That's one of those things you have to be a bit cautious about. It's very easy to like that to run down the stairs and kind of run off the stairs and end up hurting yourself. Look at that. I love it. It does say that there are enemies about. Good good opportunity to grab some random stuff. Oh skeleton against skeleton. I'm I don't know who's his who's. Fairly sure. Nicely done, Bonesy. Where is he? Search skeleton. Bone meal, may as well. Oh dear, what happened to my arrow? <gasps> another one, another one. Go get him, Bonesy. Yeah, my sneak skill improved. See, even though I haven't actually rested, right in the leg, even though I haven't, uh oh, there's two of them. I haven't actually rested or anything, you still can continue to sort of level up. Really trying not to hit my own skeleton. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if they're supposed to be alien skeletons. I keep nearly saying alien, but you know what I mean. And I do like the fact, I know everyone else hates it, but I do like the fact that your weapons degrade as you use them. So you can't just... So if you find a really good weapon, you can't just, like, spam it over and over. You're gonna die in a minute, aren't you? Man? Right, let's see if I can snipe this dude. What's he doing? That skeleton was, like, looking at his feet or something. Look at Bonesy rushing in. Nice! I've done my bit. Finish him! Something over there. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. I, lo I always loved these ruins. There was just like this this type of alien ruin. Again, there's just something about. Oh, hang on. If there's sneak skill, it means there's something else about. Um, it's just something about these ruins. They were just. It just got my. It just got my imagination much more fired up than um, than the the. the uh, what were they called? Not Norse, but like Norse. But like the Skyrim Draugr ruins. I was never that keen on them. Oh, I see you with your with your bow and arrow. It wasn't me, it was that guy. <laughs> Look at him. Get him! Oh, and there's a rat as well. Oh no! I got the rat unintentionally. Oh, that was close. Got him. Nice. Flipper Neck, you must have been doing a fair, but fair old wadge of damage. You killed the um. Yeah, it's going to be better than mine, isn't it? Oh, knickers. Hang on, aren't I carrying something that I remember thinking is a bit pointless? Yeah, these. Plunk. Yeah. 125, there we go. Jesus, those axes are heavy. <gasps> What's in here? It's a door like a tree. This has got to be good. It just reminds me so much of the sort of elven names and things that you get in Lord of the Rings and that. I absolutely love it. Love it. Big fan of the Lord of the Rings books, that is. Not so much the films. Although the BBC dramatisation on the radio was pretty damn good as well. But anyway. Did I search that one? I did. I kind of want to go down here. Yeah. This is, you could really imagine that there was a whole kind of race around here. Tits. He's literally there, mate. Oh no, that's not what I meant to press. You wouldn't have thought bones would be particularly flammable, but... Yeah! Destruction skill increased as well. Sweet! 
Yeah, as I was gonna say, you, you can imagine, you know, some old kind of race milling about in here. Nice, security skill. Increasing skills all over the shop. Oh, hello, there's one of these things. Welkin stone, nice. Can I actually take them out of the... Uh-oh. Where's my Where's my skeleton going? My conjuration skill increased. Nice, that's what we want to see. Fairly sure I heard a rat just then, but maybe not. Yeah, sort of the lighting and the, the music and the fog and all the rest of it. Oh, I don't know. Again, just to me, so much better than the um. You scared the pants off me, Bonesy. I thought you were a, a random skeleton running at me. Um, so yeah, just so much better than the uh, Skyrim ruins. Oh, hello. This is a different door, isn't it? Please. I do vaguely remember all of these ruins being pretty sizable and thinking I'm lost. Just going to be a little bit cautious because, as I say, we haven't really got anything to to um, fight ghosts. And there were some, like, literally one one hit kill traps in these ruins. That I remember boobs. <laughs> he just appeared and immediately got hit by an arrow. Don't run. Nice. Oh, he's nearly dead. Go on, Bonesy. Boobs. Nice. He did most of the work, to be honest. He was a valiant buddy. Oh, there's that music. See, that looks like traps. I can imagine, like, gas coming out of them. I think we can't open these... Co I mean, these are blatantly coffins, aren't they? Or tombs. Eugene Victor tombs. No, not that kind of tombs. This does not look good, does it? Snake skill, which means there's an enemy about somewhere. I'm just really concerned it's going to be a ghost, because I don't know my way out of here now. Oh, there's a ghost. Fairly sure I can't actually hurt him. Look at that. I mean, that is just so typically D&D &D creepy. Oh, boobs, he's moving. Sort of creepy D and D tombs, kind of raiding a crypt. I love it. I don't. I don't know what it was. Maybe if I'd played Skyrim first, or I don't know. See, by the by the time twenty eleven came round, I was sort of getting to that age where games were losing their their magic, as it were. And you were sort of looking at it more from a point of view of, you know, oh, hasn't it got clever pathing and you know, look at the draw distance and texture meshes and all that sort of thing. Whereas when I played this. This was all brand new to me, and I was like, oh my god, look at this! It's like a real world! And I, I properly sort of invested myself in it. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, I think this is probably the last game that really, like, grabbed me as a proper, like, living in this, in this world, rather than just playing a game sort of thing. I don't know. Maybe. Good times. But once you do lose that magic, that's it. It never comes back. That's really depressing, isn't it, to say that, anyway. Let's see what's in here. Asking you about rumours may lead to great treasure. Hello, mate. It is quite amazing. Do you want to you wanna get in there? It is quite amazing how big these tombs and stuff are. Ah, nicely done. What the F happened there? Oh my god! Oh great, this is one I kind of wish I hadn't walked into. Restoration skill increase. Well, what triggered that? I want to go home. My god, I got hit at least twice by that. I was freaking lucky it didn't actually hit kill me. Do I really want to go on any further? Do you know what? I think I might leave it there. As in, like, just get out of here. 
Am I still crouching? No. I don't understand the pattern of the blades. <sighs> okay, we're out. Because I don't know if I said this before, but this is going to be like my Fallout New Vegas playthrough, where as soon as I die, that's it. I'm going to stop there. It's a YOLO playthrough. Unless, I don't know, if there's some kind of weird thing where, I don't know, if I'm running down the slope and then the game's like, no, you fell too far, you're dead, then obviously that, I'm not going to count that. But, but like, if that trap had killed me, hello. Really? If that trap had killed me, I would have, I would have stopped playing. I know, I looked at that one, didn't I? Interesting, so I bet there's a lever somewhere else in the tomb that then opens the door that's up there or wherever it is, and then that'll lead to some amazing treasure. But anyway, well, we saw a bit. We saw a bit of an alien ruin. I like it. What time is it? Oh, it's night time again. Really? I can't rest when enemies are nearby. What enemies? No, I want to... There we go. I want to get a few more things on. Oh, I need. I need to. I need to properly. That's a cool statue. I need to rest somewhere so I can level up. But the thing is, I'm miles away from anywhere safe. I should probably start heading to one of the other big cities. Where the hell am I on the map? Loading area. Exactly. Uh, where am I? Nope. This always annoyed me, this stupid kind of compressed map that you have to try and navigate. Should we try heading to Coral? We don't want to go to Kavach. Because that's where everything's like a disaster. Mark, Mark's never been to Kavach, but anyway. No. I didn't mean to do that, damn it. I meant to just put a marker. I forgot you can... I was thinking you can't travel to a place until you've already been there, but that doesn't apply to cities. <laughs> oh, he's here! Okay, I didn't... I didn't I did not know that. He's in a rush, isn't he? Oh. Fucking hell. Easy. Greetings, High Elf. Okay. Is my race really relevant? Hello, Cora. I like the fact that all the guards are wearing different uh, different gear and different icons on their shields and stuff. I want to go to an inn, basically. And then I can sleep, level up. I don't think I want to do this bit to begin with. We don't want to get to the stage where those oblivion gates are opening up willy-nilly all over the land because that's when things get quite difficult. So we don't want to go to Wayne on Priory. Buy some books. There's quite a selection. I heard that Renoir has a good selection and at reasonable prices. Don't mind me. Just listening in. What are you doing? You're pretending you're not listening. Hello there. Hello there. He's friendly. Is this an inn? The Oak and... Oh. I thought he was going to go in there as well. The Oak and Crozier. I should probably put my torch away. Uh, Nope. Oh, I do that every sodding time. Right. Hello. Welcome to the Oak Enclosure. This one is Talisma, your hostess. Oh yeah, they refer to themselves, don't they, as this one. Which is like those things in Mass Effect. Uh rumors. Talking about the assassination, of course. Here, take my copy of the new Black Horse Courier. Go ahead. So we can, we could read a newspaper, nice. Nice interesting hair outfit you've got there. Assassination. Rumours. I thought she was going to give me a copy of the uh, Fleetwood Mac album. Elena Danto just hasn't been the same since her eldest son died. Still, she does a good job of running the Fighters Guild. I bet she does. Right. Uh... There's a type of. There's a quest involving finding rare bottles of wine or something at some point. Post of illness. Uh, water walking. I thought it was water breathing. Fair enough. Uh, you can have that. Fire shield, yeah, you can have that. Have that. More than I'd usually pay. Restore luck, that might be quite good. It's more than I'd usually pay. They all say that. Uh, anything that's worth a few quid here? Not really. <gasps> 24 for vampire dust. Um, she won't buy anything else, what she know. I would like... I would like a bed. Yes, because I'd like to level up. I'll take it. Upstairs, first door to the left. Sleep well. Yeah. 
Do I get a key? Okay, so we will... What time is it? Yeah, 12 in the morning. Uh, first, hang on, first door on the left. It's a cool painting. Um, does she mean up here? Yeah, I presume she means this one, doesn't she? Okay, you're not allowed to touch anything in the room though. Just have a little scan around it. I never used to use the rooms, to be honest, to, to level up. There was always like somewhere else to uh, to do it normally. But I thought I would stay in character and actually get a bed for the night. What's it here then? Anyway, so I shall I bid you bid bid ye good night. We'll only stay till like I don't know six in the morning, and we can level up. I can't remember how we what leveling up is like in this. Here we go, three attributes to increase. Right, uh, oh yeah, this is how it works. Yeah, we definitely want that one. And, oh yeah, because you can't do like, you can't like chuck everything into willpower, can you? Yep, and... What's endurance? Is that your health? Health, how much your health will increase when you save? And raise levels. Luck, luck's pretty good. Personality. Damage done by bows. I mean, we are kind of using bows quite a bit. Probably that. Yeah, sweet. Uh, does it tell us how close we are to levelling again, or, or not? Oh, I see. There we go. <gasps> Conjuration is like a millimetre away from levelling up again. When we get up to 50, we'll be able to level up, or we'll be able to create some better stuff. Block pretty close and speechcraft right on the cusp actually if I go and talk to a woman downstairs and do a bit of persuading on her or but uh, not persuading what do you call it the that one yeah right. I literally can't see your face oh disposition maxed damn it okay I wonder why it wouldn't let me do it boobs okay we're done we're done we leveled up that was good so we got a bit more magic and it regenerates a bit better quicker stronger faster etc uh right yeah we don't want to go to wayne on priory just yet i do oh yeah i want to go to what was that quest we had frost crag spire that was it which we're now probably on the other side of the, the map from now aren't we oh she got a bruma Let's go to Bruma. I'll go to Bruma and then I'll go to the Wizard's Tower from there and then we'll leave that point there. It's really hard to get much done in like half an hour in this. Oh yeah, it's really cold here, isn't it? I thought he was hiding from something. I remember there's a massive gate appears. I think it's like the main Oblivion gate opens like here. Pretty sure it's here anyway. Pretty much where that rock is. Crunchy snow sounds. We're probably due for some snow before too long. Right, is that blue? Yeah, the blue arrow is that. So we're going to head into what I believe are called the Gerald Mountains. Now, annoyingly... Oh, no, it does work. Interesting. In Skyrim, I'm pretty sure Conjuration skill only actually goes up... What the hell is that? Oh, it's a log. Uh, when you're... When you're conjure... When your conjured enemy attacks something. Like, if you just stand there and conjure things, not nothing... Where are you going? Nothing actually happens. Look at that, you can see the church. Brumar's church from here. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything unless you um unless it attacks something. Brumar. I thought it might be. Imperial City, no, we don't want to go that way. I wonder if we could Yeah, you could see the tower just through that little gap in the tree. That's what you call draw distance. But in the meantime we wanna we wanna head up these mountains. I must admit, I do wish this game had um, frostbite spiders in. They were awesome. Especially that first one you see when you play Skyrim. It comes like twanging out the roof at you. Horrific. Stuff of nightmares, but great as well. Motherwort. Yay! So some stuff I can successfully harvest and some not so much. Come on. It's not easy to navigate these hills, to be honest. You've got to do a weird kind of, as I say, your kind of mountain goat. Come on, get up there. You can get up there. There we go. If you mash jump at the same time, any time your character lands on a bit of ground that they can jump, come on, you can do it. 
then they'll start making progress. There we go. Nice. Again, ridiculous, but awesome as well. Knoll Mountain. I am very glad that they don't have the Zelda Breath of the Wild thing where you... you um, You'd obviously temperature plays a factor because we'd be freezing our nards off up here. Smack it out. You found Knoll Mountain. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was going to be an it was going to be an enemy here or not. Whose camp is this? You don't need a fridge when you're up this high, do you? I suppose. Inkwell and tongs. <gasps> is there a? There's a grey robe. See, look at this. Imagine, imagine a real life camping here, like this high up, with all these lettuces. No, but just imagine. Oh, imagine the view from up here. Look at that. You can. Oh my God, I love it. I'm pretty sure there are more houses than that in Brumar, but I don't know why some of them haven't loaded. But anyway, it looks awesome nonetheless. And there, in the in the vague distance through the fog, sort of, you could see for a minute the Imperial City. Anyway. Press on. I remember this again, as I say, this was blew my mind when I was a kid. I was stunned by it. Here we are. <gasps> I haven't been in this building since, oh my god, like 2009 or something like that. It's been about a decade since I've last set foot in this building. This was home for like 600 hours of, or roughly, playthrough of this game. Oh my god, it's so weird coming back here. I also broke the game, but not broke the game, but like ruined the game essentially for me in a way. Because you can only have one Atronach at a time, and they are permanent Atronachs once you once you unlock them. But, um, oh my god, this is so weird coming back here. Yay! I've arrived at Frostcrag Spire. I should make my way inside this curious but extraordinary tower. Um, you can only create one at a time, and I, you can command them to wait. And I did, and then I forgot where on the map he was. It was. I think it was a she, actually, because it was a flame astronach. And so I couldn't create another one, but I couldn't find the original one to kind of get rid of it. But, um... I can't remember how I solved that problem in the end, but anyway. Did it say I inherited this, by the way? Uh, according to a deed that's been delivered to me, I've inherited a property called Frostcrack Spire from a long-lost relative. Let's see what it's like. Because you can... You can tart these places up as well. Look at the Atronach underneath the ice! I've discovered a dusty tome within Frostcrag Spire. I should read it to learn more about this unusual structure. Yeah, look, there's a an, Atrofla an ice Atronach under there with its hand reaching out. After reading the dusty tome, I've learned that I can purchase everything I need to restore this place to its former glory from Orlin Way at the Myst Mystic Emporium, which is where we were in the market districts of the Imperial City. We were there in the last part. As I pen, I'm going to read all this. As I pen this, uh, I gaze upon the walls of my home and remember the very day its design came to fruition. Although it seems like yesterday, I was actually it was actually many years ago. I was an impetuous wizard. I wasn't simply satisfied living at the Arcane University. I spent years coming up with a design for my home, a place where I could practice my magic in peace and keep myself away from the prying eyes of my colleagues. I pored over tomes and dusty scrolls, scoured the bookshops of the land, and even delved into ancient ruins looking for inspiration. Finally, as I rested my weary body at a camp outside of Brumar, and marvelled in awe at the majesty of the Gerald Mountains, I became inspired. Oh, that's his! That was his camp that we were at a minute ago. I became ins inspired. Like a madman, I began to sketch exactly what I wanted my grand dwelling to look like. It wasn't long before I completed my masterpiece, put down my quill. Yeah, we saw a quill, or an ink pot, or something, and took a step back to see what I'd wrought. Crosscrag Spire was born, and now, as age overwhelms me and the glow is dying from my eyes, I wish to give the spire to you. The thought that my dream could one day crumble to ruin fills me with sadness. I thought I said sandals. I know that you'll take care of your new home, and if need be, restore it to its former glory. Please heed my instructions carefully. There's much to tell, and the strength drains from my limbs. Bloody hell, how many more? Okay. Frostcrag Spire contains many wonderful inventions. I've spent my whole life perfecting them, and I hope you'll put them to good use. My pride and joy is the Atronach Altar. By bringing three salts from the very same creatures to this altar, you can summon an Atronach familiar to do your bidding. It will obey your simple commands and defend you in times of need. Should you tire of it, simply speak to it and dismiss it. Yeah, that was the problem, because well, I didn't know where my one had gone, so I couldn't, I couldn't dismiss it. These fine creatures have protected me in my travels and should be of great use to you. With permission from the Arcane University, I've had a spell-making and enchanting altar placed in the tower as well. You you have to you have but to provide the 
mage tallow candles to power them and they will serve you well. Working closely with my good friend Cinderion, I think, the master alchemist of Skingrad, I have developed uh, the Frostcrag apparatus table. Uh, this table is for the discerning chemist and should help even the most difficult brews become easier to create. I've also reseeded my alchemy conservatory with the best ingredients Cyrodiil has to offer, and some from beyond her borders. Finally, I've created portals to all of the mages guilds in Cyrodiil. This should make easier to travel, make it easier to travel to them in times of need. I've entrusted most of my belongings to Auraline Way at the Mystic Emporium in the Market District of the Imperial City. There you'll find everything you need to bring Frostcrag Spire back from the dead. She may require compensation for her time and care watching these special items, but I assure you it's well worth a coin. Please take care of Frostcrag Spire. She was my home and much of myself is infused with the stone and mortar. May your journeys be safe and the roads you travel free of danger. Ugh, there we go. That was a lot of reading. Um, I believe these are the portals that take you to the different parts of Frostcrag Spire, I believe. No, they take you to the different mages guilds. This is the main bit. Look at this. Gorgeous. Yep, and you have your Ice Atronach platform, your Flame Atronach one, and of course your Stone Atronach one. But we need the salts, which it took me ages to sodding well get. I don't know where that takes me. Frostcrags by a vault. Interesting. Of course, this was purchased DLC, so the idea was instead of you can make your own spells. That's amazing. Um, I wish. I wish. We will do it at some point. Um, yeah, so it's basically like you pay and it all kind of shortcuts to various items and stuff like that. Let's see what's in the vault. God, it's been decades since I... Oh my god! Brings a tear to my eye, this does. It's been a decade since I've been in these places. In all fairness, I thought this was full of chests at some point but maybe not oh no we have to buy the desert yeah, yeah of course he literally just told us we have to buy all this stuff I didn't even see what this one said but anyway <gasps> oh we're back at the no this is the garden here we are Look, it's got all this stuff rice plant all this stuff we need including nern root I'm not going to pick anything at the moment and look at this daedric plants as well harada root domesticated Something or other. Spittle stick. Rather root. I thought there was more plants than that, but anyway. Blood grass as well, but anyway. And I believe you can get up onto the top of the building as well. Here we go, yep. Beautiful, look at that. Gorgeous. We're about as high as we could get. Look, you can still see into Brumar from here. And the Imperial City! Look at that little donut down there. No, that's just the prison bit. The city's further out. I was, oh yeah, you can see the tower. Yeah, you can see the tower just at there, just there. Sweet! That's the fog lifts. I was going to say, that looks like it's a lot further away than it actually is, but yeah. Bloody hell. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. I know we haven't done a huge amount this part, but we will start making progress. That must be... Which city is that then? Oh, Jaden Hall. We've not been there yet. God, you can get such a good view from up here. I know this is a, this is an old game. What was this, 2006 or something like that? I still think it holds up. I still think it looks great. I mean, obviously, no, it doesn't look great, great, but it's perfectly serviceable, this game. And the best of the Elder Scrolls games, as I say, in my, in, in my humble opinion. I know many people disagree, but... I do think this is the best one. Anyway, let's leave it there. Thank you very much for watching this part. We shall make more progress in the next part. So thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you again very soon.